Okay, so I'm Julia MacDonald. I'm the Curriculum Leader for Health and Social Services in Princess Trust. Princess Trust programme is, is separate. It's not a full-time programme and it's not in the prospectus and you don't apply for it online. The other courses I run are Access to Nursing. So if you've been out of education for a while, there's the Access to Nursing course. If you want to be a social worker, we've got HNC Social Services. We're also running HNC Care and Administrative Practice. So if you've got a couple of hires and fancy going into nursing but haven't got in this year, then that would be the course for you. We have a Health and Social Care Practice course and that runs at Stranraer and Dumfries and you get your full SBQ2 and an, an NPA, a National Progression Award in Reablement. And we, the Access to Nursing course also runs in both campuses, both in Dumfries and Stranraer. Um, we have a health and social care theory course. So if you're a current practitioner and want to get enough qualifications to go into HNC or are looking for promotion, then health and social care theory would be the course for you. Um, and if you're a mature student and you've been out of education for a while and you haven't got enough qualifications to get into university to maybe study social sciences, so psychology, sociology, our swap access to humanities course is brand new this year and it's a really good course and um, quite challenging but if you want to go to university that would be the course for you um they're all at scqf level six all the courses are scqf level six or scqf level seven for hnc i think so, uh, that's all we've got if you're not actually sure about whether you'd want to do health and social studies is there some sort of introductory thing that you could do that would give you an idea if you had an interest in it? If you had an interest in health and social studies then um, it might be the school's foundation apprenticeship programme uh, that only runs at Dumfries. That's the only one that we've got. Every, again it's at level six though so you'd have to meet the entry criteria unless you're a mature student and haven't been in education for a while and then the wider access programmes would be the ones for you. The uh, University of West of Scotland runs an First Steps to Nursing programme um, and they count that as a hire. So if somebody wanted to go to UWS to sort of break themselves in gently, it's a nine week um, course and it's all done, being done online just now. I know there's a lot of them, but just the sort yep. of example uh, jobs that you could get at the end of an HSS course. Yep. So if you uh, have done one of our courses, the HNCs, HNC Social Services, you would probably go direct to being a practitioner and you would probably be a senior care worker. So that could be in a care home or you could be running um, a care service where it's home care that you're running. Um, HNC Care and Administrative Practice, that course is changing, but we, have, we will have it ready for you um, in August. Um, that would get you into first year nursing or it could leave you as a practitioner. You could go and work in a doctor's surgery, for instance, in reception, in x-ray, in a reception in a small um, hospital, a cottage hospital, something like that, or be one of the admin people uh, in the likes of Dimitris and Galloway Royal Infirmary. Um, most of the uh, SVQ level courses, that's you, you're going out to be a practitioner. And then if you wanted to improve that, you would go on to do the HNC. So there's progression from the social care theory to HNC or to university or from the a practice. It would be going into your following your career path and going into a job, really. OK, and then when I was speaking to Alan earlier, we spoke about uh, the current coronavirus situation. Is there any what, what's the impact on the courses of the current situation? Current situation is that students in health and social care are not able to go out on placement just now. Um, that may change if a vaccine becomes available. And we're currently negotiating with a uh, Scottish Qualifications Authority to see if we can use our brand spanking new care hub to do simulation role play or have other people who are lower risk and our students can practice on on, on those people in a safe environment. So we're getting our way around um, making sure that the practice is, is correct. Um, the other thing is, if you currently work in health and social care, then you could use that as your placement and that would save any kind of issue at all about taking a student out in placement. 
So try looking for a job in health and social care first, back up with, with our courses. Hi, well, I've managed to get Julia by audio. So Julia, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Steve. Yeah, we've got a few questions for you, additional okay. to the ones in the short film there. Um, there are, this question is, I need National 5 Maths and Higher English to get into university. Are these on any of your courses? Unfortunately, they're not this year, no. But if you're going to a particular university course such as social work, then the course for you is access to humanities, and that has psychology, sociology, a bit of maths and a bit of English, and the universities have agreed to take those as the entry criteria. It's a wider access programme, and I think it'll be a really popular course this year, so if they're thinking about that, that's the course to go to. That's great. I have another one here. I have a criminal record. Will that mean I cannot work in care? Not necessarily. It depends how long ago it was and what it was that happened at the time. Um, we're always looking to give people second chances, so it doesn't mean that you're barred from, from working with a vulnerable groups. Again, I say it, we would take each case individually and it would just depend what, what was there. Okay, and there's a, a question here. I have entry criteria for university. Can I come on your Access to Humanities course anyway? Unfortunately not, no, that's one of the stipulations. Um, if they're old qualifications though, so if you've had your hires more than five years ago, then yes, you could come to the Access to Humanities. So as long as it was more than five years ago that you got those entry criteria, then yes, you could come to the Humanities. If it was last year, however, unfortunately not. Okay, and uh, here's another. I'm nearly 16 years old and want to work in the care sector. Can I come on your health and social care practice course? Again, we've got age restrictions for that. So you would be best doing health and social care theory this year and doing health and social care practice next year. Usually they like people to be as near to 18 years old as possible when working in health and social care. So health and social care practice if you're 16 and, and meet the entry criteria. And here's another. I'm a college student already studying beauty at higher level. Mm. Can I progress to one of your courses? Yes, of course you can. Um, beauty contains quite a lot of anatomy and physiology, so if you're interested in doing that in healthcare, yes, you can progress to one of our courses, as long as you've got a positive progressing learner reference and pass your course. That's great. And I've got another one here. I'm a student Ooh. studying National 5 Social Sciences this year. Because of COVID-19, I may not achieve all of my units on my programme. Does this mean I can't come back next year? No, it doesn't mean you can't come back. Um, we're taking each case individually and we'll know how hard you've been working all this year. So we'll look at your, your what you have passed individually and see whether we can get you into one of the courses for next year as well. We don't want to lose you. You've been studying hard and working hard over this challenging time. Well, that's great, Julia. I think we've come to the end of the, the questions that we have here. So uh, glad we got you back on, at least in the sound way. Yeah. Uh, and we have, we have a short video selection about applying for college and funding now. So let's thank Julia again for your time. And thank uh, you. we'll speak to you later. Yeah, we'll do. Thanks, Steve. Bye. Bye for now.